I was. And, and, and who might this be? I work for the Joe Biden administration. Um, I'm here in Buffalo, New York, and I'm making rotary calls here to all of our uh, Democratic friends and supporters, and I, I have you guys listed as a Democrat. Is that correct? Oh wow, that's crazy! I've never heard that before. I've, um, I, uh, I really think you ought to consider voting for Joe. I think he's the answer. I think he's, I think he's the balance this world needs right now, and um, I think he's somebody you need to consider. No, no, no. He stays in the bunker. I don't like people that stay in the bunker. I like guys that are out of the bunker. Well, here's the thing about Joe, though. You got to consider. First of all, if, who, when you vote for Joe, you're voting for the ticket, right? Because his VP is likely going to be president within his first four years. Because of his age and his uh, obvious dementia, um, I, I don't represent Joe. I've uh, worked for him in the past, but I volunteered this year to make calls and, and try to swing the vote. And um, I think, Joe, you're voting for the ticket. And right now, we don't know who the vice president is, but it's going to be a surprise. He's already got it worked out, and it's going to be the excitement that uh, we need to put Trump out of the White House. So. Uh, nah, I don't, I don't think so. I think you're on the wrong road there, buddy. I, I think you really need to look at um, the, the Trump train, and, and that's going to take you to glory. That'll take you to glory. But in the bunker... There's nothing good there, bud. Yeah, but Trump, uh, but 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 he, Donald Trump is a pervert. He's a pervert. I don't see him uh, having people rub his legs and, and 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 touching his hair and making him feel good. You know, I I don't see any of that. Um, Biden brags about that. He brags about people rubbing his hairy legs. So, what do you think about that? Well, the scene with the car vice. Yeah, with the scene with the car vice off and they're going to come by for regulated cars, is that something you're going to do? Do what now? I said, with the scene with the car vice, they're going to come back and regulate it, but that's something they're going to refer off to the person if, if, if that's something that you do. I don't know if that's something you'll do or not in come November. I'm going to put something on. I, 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 don't, I don't understand that. I think that's your Indian ass. No, I'm not from India. I'm from New York. I was going to say for the core minds, if you come down thought and you're going to bring that down there, if it's something you're going to do in November, I'm not sure. I'm asking you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I love Tom. He's my man. He's a great engineer for the train. And I'm going to ride this all the way to glory, honey. Do you, do you think he's, do, let me ask you this. Do you think, you honestly think Donald Trump has ever read his Bible? John three sixteen for me what, hey, why don't you tell me what Philippians fourteen is? I know what it means. So it means I have a dream. I have a dream that one day my generation that's, that's will one day live in a nation mean? where they won't be judged by the color of their skin but the content of the character. I have a dream today. I have no I have no problem. I I, I am colorblind and so I have those skin color issues. So and I don't think he does either. And I don't think I don't think seventy five percent of this country has color. Have you I ever heard? Have you ever heard from agitators. Trump's Trump's team? I'm not an agitator. Trump's team members. I'm not really an agitator. I'm just telling you that Trump's team members even have been quoted saying he walks around the White House with bad gas and he just lets it rip right there in the living room. Hey, you know what? Gotta do what you gotta do. But I think he's the man with the plan. I guarantee you Barack Obama never let... I guarantee you Barack Obama never broke wind in the White House. (laughs) Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be behind Barack Obama breaking wind after he eats some of that Cuban food. You know, he likes the Cuban food. And you know what's over in Cuba, don't you? Yeah, but Donald Trump likes McDonald's hamburgers. You know what those things are made of? Cardboard. Hey, listen, I eat plenty of McDonald's hamburgers, and I feel very comfortable with breaking wind from there. At least it's American. At least it's American, buddy. 
Well, that's true. That's true. It is American. It is American crap. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, what's your out there in India? Hey, uh, hey, I'm sorry you sound Indian. What you mean over there in India? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm from I'm in, in Buffalo, New York. I'm here. I'm actually here with my auntie right now in Long Island. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You know, you know what? That's a great. Honestly, that's the things they don't talk about on TV right now, right? You turn on Fox News. And I wish I had somebody to tell me, hey, Biden's immune system is probably getting old and rancid, and when he eats something, he's gonna just break wind in a bunker. You want to be stuck with him down there with him and his bad gas? If somebody were to make that comment, I probably wouldn't vote for him. To be honest, I probably would vote for Trump because I haven't considered that. Can you imagine being in a bunker with him, breaking wind? Well, that's a great, you know what, I'm actually pretty enlightened after calling you. I was calling to swing your vote to uh, Biden, and I, I think I'm going to vote for Trump. I'm not believing this. I, you know something, I can guarantee you that in five years, you're going to be better off now than you've ever been in your life. And I say five years, because, you know what, we had a little mishap here with this little old China disease or China virus, you know what I mean, virus. Right, right, the coronavirus, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's kind of honestly, if you if you think about it, it's kind of a distraction to what I guess now that I look at it this way, is what he accomplished in the first year. What did we accomplish in this year? Yeah, we well, we had to battle all that in the jungle, even buffalo chicken in the bunker. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna send you some materials and go ahead and mark you down as a Joe Biden supporter in November. And I really appreciate your support. Thank you for voting for Joe. Thank you for voting for Biden. Hey, hey, you know yeah. what I'm gonna do with that? That you know what I'm gonna do with that little material? Yeah, what you gonna do I'm with gonna it? Take it, put it in. I'm gonna say it right back to you. <laughs> you no, well, you, well, at least get use out of it and blow your nose or something. You never know. You could probably use the paper. Don't mail it back. But I, I do suggest you read it. It'd be a good toilet reading, you know, when you go in the bathroom. You know what? I'll hear that toilet reading. I'll hear that toilet reading all day long <laughs> from CNN. Is that one of your buddies? CNN. It's not like CNN, though. <laughs> Listen. You can't pick up. You can't pick on CNN. It is the. It is the most balanced, fairest channel. Balanced. They're about as balanced as. That you see those ends. They're not balanced. Those ends are not balanced. No way. You don't think so, really? <laughs> wow. Listen, I enjoy. Listen, I thoroughly enjoy the humor for the evening, and I. I hope you can way more people to Trump just by talking to him because you, you, you are an interesting character. <laughs> well, I'm saying when the Combine's <laughs> Albany, he's coming down here and I don't want that. Do what now? I don't want that. You don't want what? I just don't want it's it. Philippians 413. You never did tell me if you knew that Bible verse. Yeah, it, sa- yeah it says I need a little zest in it. A little what? That scripture says I need a little zest in it. You need a little zest in it. Yeah, that's what I say when I go to Chick-fil-A when I get my drink, the Lord's House, Chick-fil-A. When I go there and I order my sweet tea, I ask for a little zest in it. (laughs) All right. You have you have a good night, honey. And I I, have done a super (laughs) job. Oh, man. <laughs> she busted me. She knew who 